Okay, this is a view of my YouTube studio. But what I wanted to show is this, restrictions. It shows you if you have restrictions on your content. Very simple. Restrictions, no, I don't have any. But I have had them before I had to take it off. But this is Meta Business Suite and this is Facebook. Now, th this shows the reels I posted and the reels I shared of other people. However, every reel that I posted has a green money sign, which means it has monetization enabled, you're earning on this content. Now, that's what Facebook tell me. However, definitely ain't true. For some reason, I'm restricted, but I'm not complaining about the restriction because if I did something wrong, I did something wrong. However, my complaint is Facebook won't tell me what I did wrong. I even paid for Meta Verified on my personal page. I can't get it on this page, but on my personal page, I paid for it because they told me if you get Meta Verified, you can actually speak to Facebook, you know, because you can't do that any other way. So again, they got some more of my money. They got Meta Verified. I have several conversations with them. Let me show you that. So here are my... Um, Inbox messages with Meta Business, and it went back all the way to the first Tuesday of May, I believe it was, where I went from overnight from green to red. Didn't post a thing overnight, because they tell you if you post something, that's what you should look at if you go from green to red. Now, normally people go from green to yellow and get warnings. I ever did, I did something really bad. I went from green to red. However, I didn't post anything. Here are um, email conversations with Meta. I mean, over and over again. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to beat the system or anything. None of that kind of stuff. Because if I did something wrong, I did something wrong. However, my problem is you won't tell me what I did wrong. Nobody in them conversation. And there are several conversations, over 100 conversations. And every conversation, all I'm asking is, what did I do wrong? So, so I can fix it, you know. But their replies are always um, copy and paste something out of the frequently asked questions section, which I read prior to contacting you anyway. So I don't know why you keep sending me that. And also that, oh, this is done completely by AI. As if AI don't make mistakes, which is why there should be human oversight, not humans being looked over by AI. It should be the other way around. But on Facebook, it's AI looking over humans. Now, do that make sense? And I'm saying that especially because Facebook would tell you in their little frequently asked questions, if you request a review, another review, an appeal, that then it goes to humans, right? Because it's AI is the original, then it goes to humans lies because i will show you in all these messages where they say no humans can't do anything it's all ai and of course we know ai don't make mistakes right now i'm not trying to say that i'm always in compliance because i'm not I'm, I'm just not i'm not even gonna say that and i'll show you a lot of violations i had you know during election time <laughs> I, I fell into it. It was a lot of back and forth. And all of them were perfectly right because someone was against community standards. But however, a lot of them weren't. And what? Facebook, I appealed. They put it back up. However, they did tell me what I did. I just can't understand why the offense can't be identified. That, that's my only issue. And why is Facebook putting out if you appeal that it would be seen by a human? That's what a human would do. I don't. Now that I'm into this, I don't even believe the oversight board. I, I believe that's a fucking fabrication, too. I, I really do, because I, I did appeal to the oversight board, and I ain't heard nothing back from I think it was 2020. I'll show you that. I, I actually appealed it, and I pressed the button, and I got something that said it was appealed. And as I just looked back, because I had forgot about it, I see the button is blue again, which is what's happening on my page. Now, I asked for uh, another review, and I get nothing, absolutely nothing from Facebook. And it's grayed out for a minute, about three weeks. Even though when you hit the request another review, it say two to three days. For me, it's like three weeks. After the three weeks, it goes back to blue. I don't get anything back saying, hey, bitch, we agree with what we said and you was wrong. I don't get nothing back. I haven't got anything back on this page, this just self page. Now, on my personal page, if I do something wrong, they tell me what I'm doing. I, I just don't understand the difference, I guess I'm saying. I don't understand what's the difference between a personal page and a page that monetized. I would think that the monetized page would be the one where you let me know what I'm doing wrong so I can get in compliance. And I can't compare myself to other people's stuff because, hell, I don't even know what I did wrong. So I don't know if they're doing the same thing I did and they got away with it. So that's not a complaint because I don't know what I did Actually, I know what I did wrong, but Facebook won't say. I deleted a lot of videos at one time. I'm going to tell you how it happened. I deleted a lot of videos at one time. I really wasn't. This page I made as a backup page in November. Um, I didn't try to monetize. As a matter of fact, I kind of forgot about the page for a minute. I posted a video on there, and um, and I posted it on the wrong page for some reason, which was a good reason, but I was trying to post it on my personal page. However, I ended up posting it on this page. And it kind of went viral, it's sitting at maybe 350000 right now. And so I, I looked at it one day and I was like, oh, then I looked at the little monetization thing and it said, put your bank account information in here because you're able to be monetized. And I was like, okay, let me do this. Let me do this. Because now I'm going to take this back to my Facebook group. I have a crafting group and I'm going to teach them how to be monetized. And I started, I mean, I started videos. This video is right here on this channel where I started, you know, um, do this, do this, do this, um, get meta ver ver verified. I also did that, you know, I was telling my group, I even made two videos of how it was so good. You know which it was because I was able to get in touch with him for two minutes and the guy was like, I looked at all your stuff again because it was a pretty new page in April, beginning of May. I hadn't put much on there, even though I opened up the page in November, I hadn't put much on there. So he looked at dang near everything and was like, and I told him, look, 
I was on here yesterday. I had a yellow for originality, and that's how it all began. I had the yellow for originality. I had green for the other two, green. And so I looked at it, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to teach this to my group. So let me get in compliance, and then I can also show them the um, how I got in compliance. You know the process, baby. What I do that for? So I read all this stuff, and I noticed that the original content thing is you can't have videos with a lot of still pictures. I'm a, I'm a crafter. So I had a lot of videos with, you know, still pictures just showing, you know, what I made, the process. And sometimes it wasn't move, movie video. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I got to get rid of them. Then it said, you know, you can't use copyrighted music. And I'm like, okay, the music I had on these reels was the music from Facebook Reels. However, um, they have a music library to use non-copyrighted music. I even made a video about how to get to the music library and how to use it. So I had a lot of videos with music that I got from Facebook. Uh, but again, that's their rules. It's their copyrighted music, but you can't get monetized on copyrighted music. And I had some videos that I had taken off of TikTok and put on Facebook. Some of my popular videos off of my TikTok page I put over on Facebook. And that was one of the things that they said couldn't be monetized is videos that you put somewhere else. So if you have videos with logos, t- TikTok being one, they can't be, mon- well, not that they can't be monetized. That would be a reason for you to get that uh, limited originality, that yellow I had. Still had a yellow, by the way. So me and my thinking, I'm getting in compliance. I got this bright idea. And at that time, I had about 100 videos. I'm going to get in compliance and I'm going to delete all these videos. And then I get up tomorrow. This is on the Tuesday, I believe. I get up tomorrow and I tell my group, you know, I went and I deleted all this and I asked for a review and they reviewed it, you know, because they say if you ask for a review, a human does it. They reviewed it. They'll see that I deleted the videos. I have no more of that on now. Baby, I deleted about 50 videos. I even made a post about it because I was trying to get into compliance. Baby, I woke up the next morning. It was red, red, red. I hadn't posted anything. So in my mind, me deleting all them videos tripped the AI, which is understandable. I mean, once I looked at it, they didn't tell me I couldn't delete more than one video at a time. Don't delete a lot. I never knew that. You know that now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not delete all them videos. So I knew what I had did wrong. And I have told these people over and over again because the humans that I'm talking to, they'll look at my videos and they can't find nothing. But they'll come back and say, well, um, it's AI. It's something in there. You broke this policy. Well, honestly, some of them can't even find what policy I broke. But they'll send some screenshots, some copy and paste from the frequently asked question. But nobody can tell me what I did. My issue with that is, why not? Now, even if you don't want to tell me, the people that work at Facebook should, should be able to look in there and see what's wrong. Mm-mm. So one person told me, I will tell you what, one person showed me one video where I had some steel pictures. And the person said, see this, this right here. I get your point, sir, but I was already demonetized at the time. And also, that should make me demonetized. That one video with steel pictures would not make me demonetized because I had about 100 on there. And I was green. It was just, all I had was the yellow and the limited, limited originality. I, I, I haven't changed my format. I haven't changed what I don't do all the stuff that I do on a personal page. I don't do all the stuff that I do on TikTok. I don't do all that. This is like a business page like where I'm doing tutorials and showing people how to do crafts, showing people different things like, you know, um, whatever. It's a tutorial channel, business channel, whatever you want to call it, page, whatever you want to call it, but I'm not doing the wild stuff. So my thing is, and I see a lot of people demonetize. A friend of mine got a hold of uh, on 586, uh, $500, over $500 and Facebook won't tell them why. Why are you holding the money? And why am I looking at my meta business suite and it's telling me every, when I tell you every Every video that I have posted has a green dollar sign on it. So like that could be wrong. So I went on somebody else's account and looked at every one of my videos. Everyone has a has an ad on there. If it's not suitable for ads or not suitable for me to get paid, why why is it ads on there? Now this is not a big amount of money. I mean, I put two shorts on YouTube last month, just two shorts because I, I absolutely forgot about, not forgot about, but I haven't been posting on YouTube because I've been concentrating on the Facebook trying to get my group up to par because Facebook is where I spend most of my time. I put two shorts on, on YouTube and, you know, kind of forgot about it. I, I stay on YouTube. But I wasn't even worried about it because I know I wasn't really posting videos. I got a check for $107. I only put two videos on there. I, I, I just don't understand. All I need to know is what I did wrong on YouTube. I would correct it. I mean, it's like going in front of jury and they out there deliberating, but you don't know what you're charged with. So how can I mount my defense if I don't know what I'm charged with? It's definitely the inconsistencies for me. Am I in compliance or am I not? Am I able to be monetized or am I not? If I'm not, why do you have ads on there getting money for it? But my content is bad. So confused.